In our previous video, we added both hot and cold piping and a sanitary piping where we use standard as a placeholder. In this video, we'll change the type of piping run to the correct sanitary type. We'll modify the size and location of pipes and we'll connect two classroom sinks to the hot and cold water mains and then copy the sinks and piping along the hallway. The first thing we'll look at is have a look at the sanitary piping we already have. And we're using a standard piping, so the connectors are going correct at this point. Now, rather than going around and changing these connectors, what we're going to do is we're going to actually select the pipe run and change that pipe run. Now, if I hover over one part of the piping and hit the tab key a number of times, it'll highlight the whole pipe. If I move the cursor away, you lose that selection. So tab a couple of times and then pick to select. This will allow us then to go and change the, the type. But as you can see, we'll need to filter out the floor drains. So the plumbing fixtures, we don't want. So we go OK, and now you'll see the ribbon changes. So in here, we'll see change type. So I'm going to remove it from the standard type, and then we're going to change it to the PVC type of piping in here. And as soon as we've done that, if we zoom in, you'll see the connectors are correct because it's using the correct pipe type. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add the, pipe, the, the hot and cold piping to the sinks. At the moment, they're just running alongside the corridor. But before we do that, we need to tidy this up. So to see our piping, let's change this from medium to fine. And now you can see the pipe. Now we can easily just move a pipe and it will stay connected just by picking and dragging. We can also select a pipe and change size. So we can see here we've got the 100mm piping where we could do with just 25mm. So let's select that and change that to 25mm. The nice thing is where it's connected, it will just actually put a transition in for us. Do the second part. And there's a transition again. So let's tidy this piping up. Let's drag this in to above the wall. So that's both hot and cold for the lower section. And we'll do the top section while we're here. So the next thing I need to do is connect these sinks in. So the one way I can do this is selecting that particular sink. Let's do this in the lower level so select my sink and I've got my connect into option we'll do the hot water in this case all I do is go OK and then select the hot water piping that we need to connect into I could do this again with the uh, cold water or what I could do is actually go back to a section that I've already selected and I can draw it in in a section first of all I need to actually expand this section so I can actually see not only the sink uh, in the f above, but the actual pipe work that's right up high it. And we'll, later on we'll actually extend, extend this so we can see the other sinks. So first thing I do is select the sink. There's our connector. Make sure I actually pick the right connector. And then if I drag this up, I can actually then just connect to the cold water. So we use connect into, or I could just draw into section, in a section of view. In this case, we're going to actually for the, use the connect into for the sink above, hot water, and then we select again and choose the cold water for connect into. You'll see the hot water's gone because that's already connected. And there's my connection to both of those sinks to the hot and cold water. So let's extend the section so we can see other sinks. We'll just do a couple of sinks here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually copy. So select a window selection and I'm actually just going to use the copy. What I need to make sure is I've got a constraint on and multiple. All I do is then pick a common point and copy that across. So that's copied the sinks across for me and I've actually got all the piping in there as well. So if you just open up the 3D plumbing view you get a better view of what we've actually created there. I'm just going to change the view to fine so we can actually see the piping and the connectors in there automatically created for us. 
So that's modifying piping.